So the first thing to do is to create a brand new Unity project. So I've just called mine new get demo. It just needs to be in a version of Unity that supports .NET standard. In this case, I'm choosing 2020. And you can check on what .NET preferences we've got by going into project settings, player. And if we scroll down here, we can see configuration here and API compatibility level set to .NET standard. And that's important if we're using NuGet. So just make sure that that is set. So if you're unfamiliar with what NuGet is, then it's essentially, you can think of it like an asset store of libraries. So if we come into a browser, let's just pick one. So here we have a browser finally. So we just go NuGet. In fact, it's in there already, NuGet.org. And then you can search for pretty much anything in here. I mean, it's just ridiculous, like maybe uh, something about a garage door. I'm <laughs> looking. Uh, automatic door. So you've got some sort of home automation library. You know, it's just crazy the amount of things that are in here. So the demo that I'm going to do today is going to be based around something called Azure and your Azure services, and in particular, something called Azure Storage. So we can just come in here and say Azure Storage. You can see we get a lot of hits in here. And then you could just go to something called Storage Blobs. You can see here that we get a little bit of information about it. We get how you can install it. So some instructions depending on the kind of thing that you're using. And then some release history. So you noticed here that we've got some betas and you've got full releases. So that's something you should pay attention to. But now this is all great and it, and it will bring down his libraries and it will bring down all the dependencies and that's really useful. But the problem is, is Unity just doesn't understand this concept. It's got its own package manager. It's not the same thing. So what we normally would have to do is say, okay, well, I want this. So we'll go to the release. I'm not going to deal with betas. And you say download package. Now, chances are I've probably downloaded this before. So it's going to come in here and open this file. And here we have this package. And if you rename this to be a zip, and open it, you can come into the libraries .NET standard and there's our DLL. So you might think, okay, that's all you need to do. And yes, it's true. That is pretty much all you need to do. But let's follow this example and see where it takes us. So we go back into Unity. And let me just go to my favorite game dev HQ layout. So we've got folders here, project folders, and we need to create a new folder in here called plugins. I just want to check that that is the right folder structure. So let's go to Unity plugins folder. Sounds good. Okay. It doesn't tell us where that folder should be. Well, it seems like it can be anywhere. Assets plugins. Yeah. Okay. And then we go back to our folder and we just drag blobs into here. So I need to extract it. So copy it out of there. Now I tend to put them into a folder called libs. And in fact, it's probably already there. Make sure I've got the right version. Drag that into plugins. 
So Unity sees that now and starts compiling for it. And there we have our blob storage component. So that all seems pretty good at that point. We can just check that the various references are set. It's going for Windows. It can do all of these because it's a .NET standard. So that's one of the benefits of being .NET standard. And if you see down here, we've got our errors. So let's get the console up. Window, general, console. Let's just bring that over. I should put that, just stop that here. Okay, so what's it telling us here? The assembly plugin will not be loaded, unable to resolve Azure Core. So the problem here is we've got our blobs DLL, but it has a dependency on something called Azure Core. Now, if this was a normal NuGet package, it would have resolved that for us and gone and fetched it. But because we're doing this by hand, it hasn't done that. So that's a bit of a problem. Now, what you could do is you could come back into NuGet and then do Azure Core. And there's Azure Core. And then you could come in here and download Azure Core. But what happens is it ends up being quite a long list of DLLs that you need to get, a quite a very long list, in fact. So this becomes really difficult to do. And not only that, it becomes very fraught with danger because the version numbers are important and you can get into a right mess trying to get the right version numbers. So my tip is to come back to Visual Studio and launch that. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new project. So we want a class library, .NET standard class library. So we just call this uh, new get demo separate app. Create that. And now we're going to use the NuGet Package Manager that's inside Visual Studio, and this is a much nicer experience. So you can either do right-click, uh, Manage NuGet Package, or I believe you can get from here as well. So we don't want the console because that's the stuff by hand. We want to do this via the UI. So first of all, it shows us the installed ones. That's fine, but we want to go and find our Azure one. So Azure Storage. And it's a very similar kind of interface. We just click on here and then it asks us which project we want to put it into. So we've only got our one here, the latest stable. Okay, that's good. Install that. So as you can see, these are all the DLLs it's now detected. So you, core should be in here, yet core is there. But look at all these other ones we would have had to have gone and fetched by hand. It was just, makes life really difficult. But this makes it really easy. So we say okay to that. Uh, I accept. Okay, so that should have worked now. And what you have to do with package manager, you just have to build. So we build the solution. And then we can open the resulting output file. You can see the .NET standard output here. And you can see here that we got a DLL, but where are all the Azure ones? Now the problem is, is that NuGet puts them into your own folder. So if you come into, uh, I think it's going to be for me, it's going to be C users pool, and there's going to be a NuGet packages, and there's Azure Go, and there's storage. So you, all the DLLs are then sort of cached in this big library list here. So yes, you could come in here and you could well, hopefully get the right version, 
find the library, find not standard, oh, and there's DLL. But again, this is quite hard work to do that and to get the right version. And, you know, it's just a bit of a mess. So is there an easy way? So let's have a look at that. So we can go, um, let's try and think of something. .NET standard output all DLLs. So we've got this .NET publish here. Maybe we could try that. So come in here, do a command, if I can find the commands. Uh, so .NET publish. So we do .NET publish, and let's have a look at the output of that. So into the bin folder, into debug, .NET standard, and now the publish folder. So this is the folder we had before with just the DLL in. But now publish, ooh, look at all of these. So let's just check what I've got in Unity. I have got nothing in Unity. So let's come back over to my folder. Just shrink this over. So core, DLLs, DLLs. Don't need the actual demo. DLLs, DLLs. Look at them all. Okay, so now we can drag that over to plugins. It's going to be compiling now. Let's just run the project, make sure it has compiled. Seems good. And if we open up, uh, let's just create a quick folder called scripts. Let's just put a quick, uh, let me think now. Let's call it Azure test. Open that. And we seem to have an Azure namespace. Azure storage, blobs, blob client. Client equals new one client. HTTP blah. See if adding this, I expect to get an error because that URI is nonsense. But at least we'll see if it runs. There's your test on there. Let's run that. Okay, so I'm not getting any horrible errors because I'm not trying to do anything with that, but it seems to have run that code successfully. Let's see if I can just make absolutely certain by doing something with it. Uh, client dot, uh, let's just do delete. <laughs> Finally, web exception, name resolution failed. So it's tried to do its delete and 
it was just sitting there timing out. And I'll come on to how you get around these problems with Azure uh, in another video. But you can see here that we are communicating with Azure. We are doing that from Unity. Our plugins folder has worked. We've managed to get all of those. And it was just needed that little publish and a separate app in order to gain all the correct DLLs. So hopefully this has opened the door for you Unity developers and NuGet. And it is quite the adventure. There are quite a large number of um, projects that you can create. It's certainly I, I did the light changing application from Unity so I could change Philips Hue lights. That was all done via the NuGet libraries. You can talk to bot services, so you can have things like language recognition. All these doors will suddenly open to you. You can make very interesting projects. I hope you found that useful. Thanks.